Um, and I don't think we have anybody joining us online from the public, which is all right. Um, they can always watch the recording. So let's jump into our administrative items. Um, the minutes of the September 9th meeting were distributed ahead of this. And does anybody have any corrections or additions to those minutes? Very thorough, very thorough. Okay, so can I just have a thumbs up that nobody in the... <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. That was a unanimous approval for the for the minutes of September 9th. Um, so we have a few calendar items just to make sure people's calendars are up to date. Normally we would have um, our workshop on the 15th of October, but we're canceling that. And we are all hopefully going to attend the planning board workshop, which is on the 24th, the, thir the fourth Thursday. Um, and Phil Saucier will be giving us his comments on the draft. And I'm assuming that at least a few days ahead of that, we will get his comments in writing so that we can kind of have a look and compare notes with what the maybe maybe with what Tom um, Lister has said you know most of us either have that printout or um, can check online so those are our two dates this this month that are important um, we'll go ahead and have our usual um, workshop next month on the 19th of November and our meeting will be on the 11th. Our monthly meeting will be on the 11th of November. And I had circulated the question with our meeting announcement that um, do we think it's a good idea to have a table for CPIC and Recode at the polls? I'm assuming, I think we're all assuming that there will be a pretty massive turnout so at whatever time of day, from eight in the morning till eight at night, people coming by looking at Recode, we would just have to update the flyer. Um, and Sky and Josh will do that if as long as we give them the, the updating material. But there's no point doing that if we don't have people who can at least take an hour or two or three at the polls. And... I understand that people are busy and sitting at a table at the polls by yourself because we can't, I mean, it's, you know, it'd be different if we could go and hang out and chit chat the whole time. That would be kind of fun, but you can only have a single critter at a table. Is the table outside the room? Like it says you come out as you okay. come out of the, out of the polls and have already voted, there will be a table there for of several things probably. Um, and one would be the Comprehensive Plan Implementation Committee. And so far, I've only heard from one person who would be willing to do that. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> now, I'm willing to do that, and I'm willing to do that for three hours. But I'm assuming maybe Pam would be at least a couple of hours. So we've got five hours covered. And I have a feeling that that's all there is. Would you take an hour or two? All right. We're it feels like an auction. All right. So <laughs> five, six, seven. So we've got seven hours. Um, how long are the polls open? Twelve bloody hours. 12 hours. I think it's. I think it's eight to eight. Oh wow! Right. Okay. And there are slow periods. I think in the afternoon, the big rush. I think is kind of eight to ten. And then there's a little rush at noon, and then there's an after work mm -hmm. rush, you know. So there's no telling, you know, like, um, this is one that you absolutely can say no to. And I understand, like, you know, there's, there are other things in life. So we've got three volunteers. No. <laughs> Thank you. Are you a clarity? I, I use, Clarity's good. Uh, yeah. 
I so, used to love going, you know, the whole the whole voting scene. But yeah. Yeah. It's lost its appeal. Okay. And I'm not hearing anything from Zoom land to add to that. So that's all right. No, I, Susan, um, I already have a commitment uh, to sit at a table. Um, yes. So yeah. I'm with you. Okay. Well, I'll ask for whether you, whether, whether you're sitting at the table or not, just as a committee, do we feel this is worthwhile? Should be doing, should or should not be doing. I, I was what I was going to say when you broached the subject yeah. was I think it's a great idea, but I kept my mouth shut because it would I thought it would be hypocritical <laughs> to say <laughs> that, but I'm, I'm not at all not willing to do it. Yeah. I mean, if you could at least just get people to take the flyer, the flyer. Mm -hmm. that's it. You know, you don't yeah. have to sit there and have a talk with them. Like, no, my right. experience the last time was they did not want to talk. Right. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do what they're going to do and then go. You get out. Get out. Yeah. Here, just take a flyer. Read it at your convenience. Yeah. Or yeah. put it in a trash can. Where is it being held? At the high school, yeah. So it would be yeah. in the corridor, like yeah. the last time. Yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't be by yourself because there are going to be a couple other tables there of people, and it's you know it's it's a very for me it's a very interesting civic participation experience. I'll put it on the I'll on the maybe all right table. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Let's leave it there. Um, there are a couple other arms to twist and I'll, I'll twist away. Okay, so I'm- Can we step yeah. back for one minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the schedule of the monthly meeting, November 11th. Yes. That's the Veterans Day holiday is the- Oh, on, on Tuesday? Closed purple. Oh, gosh, I- November 11th is not really the holiday. It's not a movable one. Let me take a look. That's interesting. I guess would we in that case move it to the earlier the day before election day? <laughs> I I'm would, just I, so imagine. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a about. town holiday. Do you have town holidays on your it's a federal it's holiday. holiday. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, it's federally. So, yeah. It is on the 11th, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm with my calendar. Well, since I'm not doing this, I'm going to look at it here. I'm sorry, guys. I did not block that long at all. I really am able to. Okay. So we'll find out about that. I'll definitely look into it and figure out what the best thing is. Um, the 18th got taken with the climate action plan workshop number two um right but we could i guess do it on the fourth um and do it maybe upstairs you have to conservation no conservation, conservation, session. Session. Yeah. conservation okay go window a table um if you guys are willing to have an hour-long meeting you could do it upstairs and just be done at 5 30. <laughs> I think we left that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me look into it and figure it out. I wasn't even thinking about that because I I feel really silly saying this, but I think I thought that um, Veterans Day was a Friday holiday for some reason. But mm. now I'm just thinking that it landed on a Friday at a you know in college at one point and right. my brain made that connection. Well, yeah, it moves around. It yeah, move around. I think I just made this connection. I wasn't thinking of it. Monday. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry about that one, guys. I'll look into it and see what the best options are, and I'll talk to Susan. So hopefully okay. we can figure something out. And in a way, uh, it's not to say one meeting is more important than the other, but our workshop on the 19th is going to be pretty important because I think that will be an opportunity for us to review the remaining uh, questions and concerns and things that I don't know if more have come in. Do you I haven't seen any? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did run out of flyers out there, though. I had to print oh, more. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. that was exciting. Um, so, you know, because there, what I did, um, you know, Sky and I and Rick were talking about uh, putting this agenda together, and we talked about, I mean, there had been questions that were put into a spreadsheet before this summer's community forum. And it seems to me that all of the questions that have, you know, a specific focus 
not necessarily a specific piece in the code, but you know, a real concern other than, you know, don't mess with parking, <laughs> but something more specific than that should get a response, should get reviewed and should get a response. And so I've tried to put all the ones that we know about right now, but then there, you know, John Larson took the time to do a long email to um, Julie and I'm, I've gone through that. And so we will have that as something to go through on um, the 19th of November. And there may be, you know, more questions and, and comments, but we will also have, I would think we would have some sense of um, what's going on with the town attorney's comments at that point. So um, uh, that workshop in November is gonna be just as important as our um, monthly meeting. So let's see if we need to have a short <laughs> monthly meeting. How marvelous would be that? <laughs> okay, so on to um, other agenda items we move. Is that okay to move on now? Sure. Okay. So um, the select board update, um, you know, the, oh, um, did we already talk about this? I don't know. No. I don't no. think so. No, I think we no. talked about it in our agenda meeting. Wait, that's it. I got some deja vu there too. Yeah. Um, so it, it was, CPIC meeting was the ninth. That's so the right. Was the, 12th. the 12th. So you, yeah. haven't, you haven't talked about it. Couldn't possibly have talked about it in a, a full meeting. So um, it felt like, I mean, Sky came and so she was my witness and uh, it felt like it, it was all of our report was well received. There were, there was only one sort of question or comment from the select board. And that had to do with, um, you know, one of the items was that uh, the uh, town planner from Rockland mm -hmm. had been in touch and was very interested in Recode and had met with um, the planning office and, and Mark, I think, said Mark and I met them. Yeah. And so other towns, there's an awareness, I think, that other towns are looking at what we're doing. And so the comment had to do with, um, we've been working on this a long time, that we've put a lot of work and time into this. And of course, the town has put resources into it. Um, and that other towns are going to benefit for free. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a very positive comment, you know, for us to be in a sense leading the way. I mean, it takes a long time to do the kind of project that we're doing. And I feel very proud that we're actually taking this on, you know, and um, looking for greater density in certain areas and looking to preserve green space in certain areas, allowing multifamily housing um, where it makes sense. So yeah, it was well received is the point. And, and it feels like there's um, interest and support at this point. And um, you know, that's a very nice, uh, nice sense. So other than that, our next little item is coordinating planning with staff, the planning board and consultants. I'm assuming that your hands have been full enough that you haven't been in touch with the consultants yet. The or consultants are coming. They're coming to the planning board meeting. Yes. Yes, so on the 24th, yes. that's oh, right. Great. So great. yeah, that will be great because it feels like it's been a long, long time. Physically or virtually? Virtually. virtually. Oh. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> well, no, no, they'll attend virtually. Yeah. And I don't, I don't see them in person a long time. I don't know if you remember, were you there, Larry, for the planning board workshop where um, Leslie attended, but the technology wasn't working properly? Oh, yeah. And so we had to use my phone or something as the sound. I don't know if the owl was sick. I don't know what happened, but we managed to have a meeting, but it was a challenge. I'll be down here really early for that one. So we don't have any of these issues right, cropping right, right. up. Um, but yeah, they'll yeah. be attending virtually. I, I touched base with both of them and 
Mark and I had discussed that. So, Great. Great. and they'll get the memo yep. early as CPIC and planning board will. Perfect. Um, so everyone should be going in with knowledge and we can dive into the yep. issues is my hope. Yeah. So we put this next bullet, recode timeline, on as just something that we should be mindful of. But I don't know what to say about it, frankly, <laughs> because I think there's going to be a, a lot of, um, we, we will have a good sense of like, after the meeting on the 24th, where the consultants will be present, and they will be very aware that this at, this is the stage where there will be another round of edits before the open houses, or I should just say the open house, because I can't imagine we're going to do more than one of those. And that's, I mean, that's the 24th of October. Um, I think we will want to be in touch with the consultants very quickly after that to see when we can schedule an open house, how long will it take them to make the edits? They've been remarkably fast before, but there are a lot of edits. Some of them are very, they're proofreading edits, you know, and easy to make, but um, who knows how long that will be. So, so we, we have um, a list from Tom Lister. Yeah. And we will have one from uh, from the town of Kearney. Are we expecting yep. input from any other source at this point, other, other than general, yep. general public? No, I think we need to resolve all of the questions and which of those questions and comments actually need action. Um, and, and I think most of them will not need major action. I know that, and I, I'm hoping that by then, um, you know, there is something that we're gonna be presented with from TDI, right? TDI is supporting a uh, site plan so that to sort of test, do a test case mm -hmm. in the Topson Fair Mall to see if a retailer, um, what a retail establishment can do given the new code and its needs. So I'm hoping that that will be ready for viewing, possibly even by our November 4th meeting, but I'll be in touch with Andy soon after this meeting to see how that's going. I think you know the, the hold up on that is just that the person who's doing it has been very busy. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's not a, a lack of will or interest or money. It's just a matter of have finding the time to actually do that. <laughs> but that's the only other source, I think, of input and critique that would go into this round of edits um, before the open house and the general public. Except for planning board work. Right. Right. I think planning board determined that they wanted some of the edits so before they did workshops. I think that's what you guys voted on last time, I was thinking. Edits to... I don't, I don't recall voting. But... Or, or discussing. Um, yeah. At your last workshop, at some point, there was a discussion of, did you want some of these kind of um, typo edits taken care of? And I think that's some of what Susan was talking about, because a lot of Tom Lister's content are like, there's a missing reference here. I think the planning board had agreed that Sky will go ahead and direct all of those to be done mm -hmm. without any planning board discussion needed. Mm -hmm. But there are a few things where planning board discussion might be needed. Yep. Yeah, um, anything right? substantive. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And but we're throwing out the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but you do you there have been two i think two workshops with the planning board on town center but that was before there was a public draft yeah. and now there is a public draft and we need to have planning board workshop but we want to you know obviously it's going to be have we talked about have you talked with don about scheduling town center recode workshops not yet. Not yet. Yeah. We're really waiting on these attorney comments just to see what the yeah. scope of those are. It's making planning a little hard. Yeah. So I think the long and short of 
the bullet we're looking at, the recode timeline, because we've got nothing to say at the moment. <laughs> There's a lot we're waiting on in terms of the town attorney and planning board workshops. And we need to come out of those in order to chart the way forward. I mean, I've been thinking, you know, should we try to put something on the calendar with the consultants in terms of an open house? But there really isn't much point, you know, and until we get through a couple of these major processes to then put something on their calendar, just to have it knocked off. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if the planning board workshops or is, is there a is there like a public the public input part of the planning board process mm -hmm. where does that come into the time frame or is that just the upcoming workshops over the next few months well the workshops there is not a, a public input uh however once there is a you know a draft ordinance planning board has to have public hearings on before it can get onto the warrant. And that would be on, uh, I mean, could result in changes, I suppose. You know, I mean, yeah. But am I, goes onto the warrant. am I correct that all of the workshops are open to the public? Oh, absolutely. No, no, that's, that's but, what, no, yeah. I was asking about the, I about get, the I hearings. Not to be correct. So yeah. the planning board hearings will be scheduled after the revised draft comes out that incorporates. I believe so. Attorney comments. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, I mean, the public hearing for the planning board would be basically final version that everybody's had mm -hmm. all the input on and we're saying, right. okay, we're set to go on this. Yeah. Um, oh my yeah. God. Thank you for that clarifies my question. Yeah. Let me give maybe a little simpler. It, when we did a much smaller thing last winter, um, planning board had like three workshops to go over, you know, the the discussions of what they wanted to do and then when they were at a point where they were good with it it went to public hearing and that was you know the changes that were made at the may town meeting was something like this it might be you know planning board workshops for a while and then we have some edits for the consultants and then maybe another final workshop to make sure everything's good and then it goes to public hearing it's a little hard to say what it'll look like but um it's it, it goes workshop and then public hearing if it's you know an easy simple Right. kind of change yeah no and, and and for the changes that were just on the lab form by the time we got to the public hearing we didn't have any public that i recall no gotcha. <laughs> yeah that was, that was, those sailed through, <laughs> sailed right, through. <laughs> right, right and they even sailed through the town meeting yep now is there still the thought that chapters 175 and 191 because those changes were relatively Minor, is there still the thought that those would go through a public hearing and onto the warrant process? So the issue with that is the chapters 191 and 175 reference chapter 225. Uh -huh. um, and right. currently they reference like a, actually a significant or not a significant, a good portion of right. kind of the teeth of some of the stuff we do with site plan and subdivision comes out of zoning. Right. So Tom and I are working on getting those. Um, into site plan and subdivision where they need to be yeah. and also actually this is a somewhat new thing and i should share this with you there will probably need to be some general standards put back into zoning um, that were removed and we're realizing without them um it, it's probably the right place for it so so that's something planning board will discuss yeah. there, were, there were things we were talking about that said oh we were talking yeah this all can't come out and not be over here yes yes yeah some of it some of it does belong back where it was and yeah. does does that mean it would be in two places or just one place so if it's staying in 225 it's because it's okay so currently right now the way our ordinance is is there's a section of chapter 225 called general performance standards yes and that has things that currently aren't used for single family residential they're only applied somehow about how they're written reading tom does only applies them to subdivisions and site plans mostly um so that was the idea of putting them all in site plan then we realized it could be an issue for subdivision and then when tom and josh and i went through we went through all of them and thought figured out where they're going to need to go so the three of us are working on trying to in the most efficient means not lose anything from that Got i it. guess is a way to there's, put it i think there's some thought that you may see is 
a provision over here that is quite similar to the one over here because it may make sense to, to have it in both places. To have it in yeah. both places. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And also, you yeah. know, we don't want to get crazy into trying to rewrite 175 or 191. We right. just want to make sure we're not losing anything, I think, was right. the, yeah. the yeah. idea. Okay. Yeah. Because you want to stay away from incorporation by reference as much as possible. You know, to say to make oh, using the code easy. To make use it yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. to say, That's the oh, whole point. You That's need right. to look over here, now come back here. Yeah. You don't yeah. want to have somebody mm -hmm. yeah. If things are staying in 225, it's because when I talked to Tom about them, I said, so you never ever would use this for single family. I just want to make sure that in the one instance where you might need something like this, yeah, um, you wouldn't need it. And he went, well, maybe like there's something about some lighting that could potentially be, yeah. and um, there's some noise requirements that yeah. I'm a little hesitant to move out of 225 because of I could construe people seeing that as us trying to allow Crooker to do more things, which is not the intention. But right, if they stay there, they govern everything. Okay, so you're getting a preview on what we're doing, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, any questions before we move on? So, it sounds like the, that the idea that I had heard from planning department of moving two chapters through the public hearing and and onto the warrant might not happen that the, the it's, it's it, a little... my my original assumption was that all of the chapters were going to move together yeah and I... it's a little bit hard and tom and i have still been talking about it, so yeah. i don't want to give a concrete answer the issue is that it references things yeah but we'd also like to have it in a place where they can be both together and separate and if it just meant that you'd have to update references maybe that's something that wants to be done but references mm -hmm. would have to be updated so basically to answer your question i don't have an answer right now yeah. got it Okay, that's we did cool. address it at the planning board and said, "Well, yeah." Wait a second. So some of this is probably sounding familiar to you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I was there. <laughs> he yes. thought I had taken him off the list. As, I, as my report indicated. <laughs> got it. Okay. And I've got the and I've got the whole list of uh, from A to Z about what we're talking about. Right. Right. I remember <laughs> looking at that. Yeah. Thinking, oh my goodness. That, that's a, it's a, this, is, this is just a couple of substantive, years, yeah. You know, enhancing the landscape. I mean, we're talking about you know, uh, safe, safe vehicle access, and egress, and, and access and egress, parking, stormwater management. I mean, a lot of it's important stuff. Important. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, yeah. some thought needs to go to where do they belong? What's the best, what's the best place to move? And some very good thought is happening. And yeah. so we're going to allow a little time for yes, that. Gonna... Landscaping was handed off to the landscape <laughs> architect. So he's been working yeah. on that. Excellent. Anything further before we move off this timeline? <laughs> well, is there, a, is there a legal requirement, a time requirement between when town hall happens, the, the time town meeting, meeting happens, mm -hmm. when the warrant is published? Oh, yeah. So yeah, we can we can have the timeline working backwards mm -hmm. from that, and then this is what we have left, and everything else has to fit in this, right? And we can maybe work on that after we have the twenty four October yes, meeting. That is exactly right. Okay. Yes, I like where your hat was at, Pam. After the twenty fourth meeting, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. And you know, I think the honest response at this point is. It's looking a little tight, right? Yeah. Tempest fugitive. Yes. Yes. Tempest fugitive, indeed. Okay. So, thank you, Robin, for hanging in with this very circuitous but important <laughs> discussion. Um, okay. Online form utilization and update. I don't think we've had anything further. There were, you know, half a dozen comments. Maybe since the flyers have been disappearing, you've made a few more, apparently. I printed off 10 more. Yeah. Um, Kathy was really excited to tell me that I was out <laughs> the other day because I had told everyone down there to let me know if they were out. Yes. Yeah. I don't always look at that stretch of wall. And uh, she was like, oh, your, you your thing is out. It's like, what? And this is from the finance director. So that was a really scary phrase to hear from her <laughs> until I realized what she meant. 
<laughs> thought you meant my budget was all gone or something for yeah. a millisecond. <laughs> yeah. You're but, out of money. <laughs> no, no so just much. flyers. Um, so I printed more out and um I think I did share with some people that I had someone um expressing concern over a top some you know, needing to do stuff about the housing issue. And yeah. I handed him a flyer. Great. Great. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So at that point, we can move on to our liaison updates and check-in. Last time, we got a an update from um, Andy on things going on with um, TDI. And is there any update at all from, no? from uh, Conservation Commission. Mm -hmm. Our meetings so often overlap in yeah. peculiar ways. And I had suggested to Margaret that she take on the Bicycle Pedestrian Committee, um, which seems to, you know, they're focused on, I think they're applying for a grant. So okay. this could be, um, I heard this through my grapevine. I can um, get a little update. Can you? Too. Okay, let, I'll let you go. Um, they are interested in applying for a community action grant to work on a complete streets um, policy for Topsum, um, which is something that management has been looking at and exploring since about last spring. Um, part of it is spurn, spurred by the uh, market basket speed humps that went in on Winter Street. Mm -hmm. And just requests that were received around that and wanting to have some um, mechanisms to deal with requests for safety and movement and stuff. And then I had shared that um, that community action grants are available for complete streets work and bike pad has seemed excited about that. I don't go to their meetings, but um, I've been kind of advising from the sidelines yeah. on that one. Um, and I don't go to their meetings because I have other meetings at the same time. Um, I've been advising from the sidelines and um, I think they have a good chance of I mean, I can't say what the selection process will be like, right. but it sounds like they've got some grant writers on Four. their committee. Um, so I hope that that goes well for them. I think it would be a good thing for the town and, and I think, would dovetail up nicely with some of the stuff here. Yeah, I think there's a November deadline. So hopefully. middle of December. Actually. Oh, in the middle of December. Yep. Okay. It's been pushed back a little bit. Okay, great. That's exciting. Now, I'm curious, is it a grant to do the policy or is it to do a complete streets master plan? I hope it's the latter. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not sure exactly. Mm. I've been trying not to do all the work for them. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I shared that there was a document that I saw that said they will pay for complete streets and to run with that. Right. And you I, know. I think that that must be more than just the policy piece of paper. It must be because, yeah. I'll let them know that Montpelier, Vermont has a master plan. And it's very interesting. Ooh. And that's worth having a grant to. I'm sure that they would yeah. love to have some references. Yeah. We have information, extensive yeah. information on that. So yeah, I mean, we went through ago. quite a process yeah. um, of, of presenting, you know, a policy that was then tweaked and then it was tweaked again. And then we said, wait, let's mm -hmm. wait. And it's in their hands now, but I'm assuming that it, it's it's going to be more substantial than a policy. Okay, we'll find out. Any other thoughts before we adjourn at 5.11? I love this. I think it's not short meetings. <laughs> I just weigh in about libraries that I haven't tried to reach out to the new library director yet, mm -hmm. um, but I will, and I'll probably wait till after maybe the, in the new year, give her a few months to get her, you know, orientation. Right. And she came in just at a, a point where um, they had their big book sale. And yeah, I, yeah. I think that's very wise, <laughs> thoughtful. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Okay. Um, it crossed my mind today, um, partly because I'm a masochist, <laughs> that it might be time for two or three of us to take a look at the strategy matrix. We went through that whole bloody matrix and made some notes for ourselves about the things that we thought were really important and we wanted to make sure we did not lose track of them. It might be good to just look at those items um, to sort of take, you know, an hour and look at those 
And my guess is looking at them together would be wiser than, I don't mind looking through ahead of time and sort of flagging things that I think are really important, but it's just so important to have two or three voices, you know, to weigh in there. So does anybody agree with my masochistic idea that we review? <laughs> Could we do it via Zoom? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, yeah, I'm <laughs> We probably probably is a good idea. Yeah. Um, like a lot of things uh, that we should do, it's a matter of finding the time. The time. Everybody can yeah. Do it. Yeah. And my experience, which is that it always takes a little longer than you think, but you always feel like this is really we're glad we did this. Mm -hmm. You know. So I'm I'm guessing that if we could find kind of actually like an hour and a half. Um, the people who did it last time, it was it was me and Rick and Joe, mm -hmm. right? And I don't think we had a staff. Well, did we have a staff? I don't yeah. think we did because we were going through some changes. Yeah. Ah, we were early in that change process. So um, probably the period when we didn't want the, the person could be, involved. Could be. So um, it, it all depends on your workflow, you would be most welcome to go through that with us. Is it possible for the three, I mean, any chance that we could do that again, that trio? I don't know if anybody else is interested, but um, it, it would be open as far as I'm concerned, but to, to try to get, it, the important thing to me would be to try to get that done by the time our, um, you know the the recode is going into its its final edit, just to make sure that there's nothing lost that we wanted to flag. I don't think there is. I think it it applies to other areas of the recode, you know. But um, I like to participate in that. Great, great. Is this a document? It is. It's in, it's in the, the Google Drive. Drive. In the Google Drive. Yeah. Okay. And the folder that it's in gives you a hint because it says matrix. Okay. <laughs> and it's a map. It's a big document, but the you know, it's sliced and diced in certain ways, and we we used sort of the the initial. Um, we we I think we used the one that. It just go. It doesn't go by um, sort of lead person responsible. It just goes by. Um, it, so it's it's whatever it's, it is. It's, it's more, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, basically the master list from the, master from list. the comp plan, right. and then it's divided up in whatever way you want to divide it up, whether it be by department right. by. So it sounds like you're interested. This is the this is the one that shows it. Ask and who's yep. lead, yes, and who's yep. secondary, and, and yep. so on. Exactly. Yeah, okay. count me in. Okay. Okay. So, why don't I circulate an email to people, and I'll I'll propose maybe three different days and times. We'll see what works for folks. Is there any particular time of day that you'd rather avoid? I'm I'm usually better first thing in the morning, meaning eight to nine thirty, <laughs> nine to ten thirty. But that's also prime work time. So, so for folks, who definitely are, invite me. So not until eight thirty. Not until eight thirty. <laughs> At the very earliest. <laughs> All right, so we'll circulate that and see what happens. Okay, I think we're done, unless somebody else out of masochistic ideas and to our... Yeah. I, I, this is, has nothing to do with CPIC, but the issue of the library came up. Um, could we take a minute and if Robin's willing to tell us something about the new director? Because I don't know anything at all. Oh, thank you for asking. I, I haven't met her yet. Oh, okay. And that's what I was saying, is that I've sort of, I know that's my, I'm 
you know, her liaison with the committee, um, I wanted to give her time to get her bearings in town and with the staff. And I mean, it was she um, she came on board and then there's a new uh, youth or, you know, uh, Cindy also retired. Cindy, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of staff change and it's a small, you know, place, but busy place. So I'm hoping to in the first of the year, you know, reach out after the first of the year and and have a nice sit down with her and then I can report on it. How about that? <laughs> you know where she uh, was working uh, previously before coming here? Susan, I see you're thinking. Do you know? Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not so. sure, but I think she, do you know? Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I will not usurp you on this, Robin. I'm sure you'll have a much better update after you meet her. Um, her name is Catherine, and she came from Lewiston. Uh -huh. uh, she was the director of lending services in Lewiston. Um, she seems really excited to be in Topsom, and um, whenever we have our weekly meetings, she seems really excited about everything, and I think things are going well. Um, the new Cindy, who I also can't remember what that person, that that title is, um, also came from Lewiston. So we can just take it Lewiston's, Lewiston's yeah. library. <laughs> um, but no, she said that uh, he had had a whole lot of experience, you know, many, many years under his belt, and she was really excited to work with him again. So yeah. I think I think I think she's building up a um a good yeah. situation. She seems yeah. very competent and excited to me. Um so I think I think we got a good one. Yeah. Good. And she lives in Lisbon. Mm. So, you know, a next door neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. good. That that's really helpful. It's good to hear. I'm really happy yeah. to hear. Yeah. So probably after the holidays, we'll hear more about that. Okay, ready to adjourn? Yeah. 520, Perfect. hot dog. Thank you.